हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम अगेन टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल सिविल एच यू ऑनलाइन दिस वीडियो इज अ कंटिन्यूएशन टू आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वेर वी हैड डिस्कस द क्वेश्चंस विच आर मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर कंस्ट्रक्शन प्लानिंग एंड मैनेजमेंट एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फॉर द मोर क्वेश्चन फॉर द सेम टॉपिक सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज Pick up the correct statement from the following. Option A is optimistic time estimate refers to activities. Option B pessimistic time estimate refers to activities. Option C most likely time estimate refers to activities. And option D all of the above. As you know, if time is estimated, I mean for activities, event does not have time. Time estimation is for activities. so option d is the correct answer question 22 in the time cost optimization using cpm method for network analysis the crashing of the activities along the critical path is done starting with the activity having option a longest duration option b highest cost slope option c least cost slope and option d shortest duration so as you know for optimization we start with least cost slope so option c is the correct answer question 23 a golden rule for procurement of construction stones suggests that 100% at site 67% at site and 33% under procurement 50% at site 50% under procurement 33% at the site and 67% under the procurement so correct answer in this case is 67% at the site and 33% under procurement next question the time with which the direct cost does not reduce with the increase in time is known as time with which the direct cost does not reduce with the increase in time is known as crash time normal time optimistic time standard time so our correct answer is normal time next question pick up the correct statement from the following with regards to cpm network analysis of the projects option a is the latest occurrence time of the node of which the activity arrow terminates minus the duration of the activity is called the latest start time option b the latest occurrence time for the node at which the activity arrow terminates is called the latest finish time option c earliest occurrence time of the event from which the activity arrow originates is called the earliest start time of the activity and option d all of the above so correct answer in this case is all of the above next question interfering float is the difference between total float and free float total float and independent float free float and independent float and option d none of the above So in this case, the answer is total float and free float. Next question: While filling the tender for any work, the contractor considers option A, site survey; option B, availability of construction materials; option C, availability of labor; and option D, all of the above. So correct answer is all of the above. all the factors are considered next question an excavator costs to 20 lakh and has an estimated life of 8 years it has no salvage value at the end of 8 years the book value of excavator at the end of 3 years using general double declining balance method so general de- double declining balance method if you apply this method and calculate using the formula you will get the answer and the correct answer is option a 8,43,750 next question is pick up the correct incorrect so you have to read the question carefully such mistakes are often chances are there that such mistakes are often committed so read the question correctly in this question it is written pick up the incorrect statement from the following 
ऑप्शन ए द वेरियस फंक्शन अंडर ईच एक्टिविटी आर शोन बाय वन बार ऑन द बार चार्ट ऑप्शन बी बार चार्ट एस्टाब्लिश द इंटर डिपेन्डेंसी ऑफ वन इवेंट ऑन अनादर ऑप्शन सी ओनली अप्रोक्सीमेट परसेंटेज ऑफ द कंप्लीटेड वर्क इज रिपोर्टेड ऑप्शन डी नॉन ऑफ द अबो इन दिस केस द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी बार चार्ट एस्टाब्लिश द इंटर डिपेन्डेंसी ऑफ वन इवेंट ऑन अनादर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ए व्हील्ड ट्रैक्टर हॉलिंग यूनिट इज वर्किंग ऑन फॉर्म अर्थ द टोटल लोडेड वेट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ दिस यूनिट इज where it is given drive wheels 25000 kg scrapper wheels 10000 kg if the coefficient of traction for wheel tractor on firm earth is 0.5 the rim pull which this tractor can exert without slipping is 10th option given 10000 kg 12500 kg 22500 kg and 5000 kg in this case our correct answer is Twelve thousand five hundred kg. Next question: If the expected time of completion of project is sixty weeks, with a standard deviation of five weeks, the probability of completing the project in fifty weeks and sixty-five weeks, respectively, will be. So, in this case, you have to apply that formula. and you get the answer which is 2.3% and 84.1% which formula you will apply z equals to ts minus te upon sigma so sigma is also given te is also given okay so you can uh, calculate the z and from the z you can calculate the probability next question power stations are generally treated as option a light construction heavy construction industrial construction electrical construction so obviously it is a industrial construction next question for a given size of bucket the ideal output of drag line will be least in option a moist loam option b sand and gravel option c good common earth option d wet sticky clay correct answer is option d wet sticky clay next question bar charts are suitable for minor works major works large projects all of the above so correct answer is all of the above next question the time corresponding to minimum total project cost is crash time normal time optimistic time and the time between normal time and the crash time the correct answer in this case is the time between normal time and the crash time next question construction team means an engineer an architect an owner and all of the above simple obviously common sense correct answer is all of the above all are included in the construction team next question select the incorrect statement start float and finish float are always equal total float can be either start float or finish float option c start float and finish float need not be equal option d start float and finish float are the differences between the activity times and not event times so incorrect option in this case is option c start float and finish float need not be equal next question the artifact official activity which indicates that an activity following it cannot be started unless the preceding activity is complete is known as which you use in the drawing of network dummy activity yes the correct answer is dummy activity next question per technique of network analysis is mainly useful for small projects large and complex projects research and development projects deterministic activities so obviously the correct answer is option c research and development projects because it is a probabilistic method and not a deterministic method so d option is ruled out plus being a probabilistic method it is used for research and development projects but there is highly uncertainty for time 
next question pick up the correct in this case the question is pick up the correct statement so you have to always be careful reading the question option a is the float may be positive zero or negative option b if the float is positive and activity is delayed by a period equal to its total float the completion of project is not delayed option c if the float of an activity is negative the delay in its performance is bound to delay the completion of project and option d all of the above so correct answer is that all the options are correct so correct answer for this question is all of the above in the next video we will discuss more questions about construction planning and management so till that stay tuned thank you for watching our video